Hi, I'm John Eady. I'm a virtual tour photographer with OBO, getting ready to shoot a virtual tour here in uh, Willow Springs, west of Denver in Morrison. And uh, come along, we'll show you how it works. Well, I sh I'm a Nikon guy, been a Nikon guy since a long time ago. I shoot Nikon glass. Um, I've got a number of different lenses in here of different focal lengths uh, going all the way up to say like 200 millimeter, you know, just for like the long distance mountain type stuff. So, you know, one here, an extra flash, this particular flash. I love it because it's the most powerful flash I think I could find and it's really helps me get, um, light up the rooms, especially big rooms in homes like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, because this is, you want to match that. And I'm just kind of wanting to. Do it. To, Let's yeah, do it. I'm down here. I, you want, it's not, great to show the yard, but you know, just the open space. Plus, I can get all the way up here. Plus, you That's see really some. Nice. That's going to be extra. <laughs> but thank you for asking. <laughs> now, down here, if yeah. you need a still. Well, what's good for me is to know how, if I need to tweak a room, how John looks at the room, whether he, what angle he's going to take it at. For example, do I move the throw on the bed? Do I take it off? Do I leave it on? Right. Because once these things are taken, it is what it is, so I want to do everything I can up front to make sure that everything looks as perfect as possible. The things, even things like beautiful decorative bowls that look really good when you walk into a room, don't photograph well, and you'll move them out of the way. Yeah, and like especially that. big roosters. Yes. <laughs> on the gr roosters. big roosters on the granite. Big fan mm, of nah. the big roosters. Not a, no, I'm not no, a fan no. of the roosters. Yeah, yeah. Can I get to work, Mark? Please. I, I got something. I, I got places to be and people to see. Well, here we are. We've already done a walkthrough with the realtor. Um, checked everything, make sure everything is in good shape. Uh, turn lights on. Okay, the first thing I shoot in a room is panorama, and um, so I'm setting up for that. Finding what I call the sweet spot, uh, getting the most bang for the buck for my position. Um, I just set up proper white balance and uh, f-stop for this room. Uh, balancing outside light with inside light, which is the color needs to be correct in the room, not too warm, not too cool. It needs to look natural as possible, so that's why you need to find that balance between the outside light coming in and the interior lights, which are tungsten. Photography-wise, getting started with me was, was landscape photography. You know, Ansel Adams, I had my own black and white dark room, all these things. But well, whenever we do the higher end homes, um, I allow a little extra time because it always takes more time to get quality photography because there's always, there's just so much to take pictures of and so much feature wise. And I take that extra time to get it done right and done well. And everybody wins because of that. So that's my philosophy. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Granted, it's another huge thing for people. A lot of times I'll go into a house and take secondary shots because they've put in granite when they didn't have it before because the, everybody wants it. I'm going to shoot right over this trash so it won't even be in the picture. And I can see the front door, which is really nice. So this is pretty much my main shot. Now, so I'll take four or five exterior shots on a house like this that has good, different viable angles. I'll pick what I think's best. But just in case, I get the question later on, hey John, did you happen to take a picture from the, from the west side looking towards the mountains on the east? Yes, I did. I may not ever use it, but I have it. I've been shooting real estate photography probably, um, probably 15 years total. Everybody wants to say that they had a calling when they were a child kind of a thing, but I actually, Probably the biggest one I really got hooked, living in Colorado is really um, a great excuse to just go in the mountains and take pictures. So I actually climbed some 14ers when I was like about 16 um, up in the Snowmass area of Aspen. And I had a little fold out camera that took the 120 roll film that was like circa 1940 something that my dad gave me. So that was really truly, uh, you fold it out and it had the bellows and the whole deal. You take the picture and, and it was color. and I. You know, pictures from 14,000 feet, pretty cool. So I, that got me kind of jazzed. Uh, it's kind of funny. I got, I used to work at camera, a camera store, Waxman's Camera and Video. And somebody asked me, hey, you want to take some pictures on the weekend, make a little extra money? And it happened to be the MLS pictures, which we uh, used to call drive-by shootings. So you'd take a picture of the outside of the house and that was it. So one thing led to another and virtual tours started happening and um, people started getting better internet connections and on and on. And it just kind of, 
um, morphed into what I am doing now and it's uh, there's a creative side of me and I don't paint I don't draw I mean I could draw a stick man okay but photography is a little different you know so it kind of gets in your DNA I say that a lot but it gets in your DNA well thanks again I hope I get to see you on a photography shoot soon see ya